Good morning and welcome everyone to the 2022 Better Buildings Boot Camp. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, my name is Mike Singleton. I am the Executive Director of Sustainable Buildings Canada uh, and the host, SBC is the host for this year's boot camp. Um, welcome. So happy you can join us. We have a big week ahead. We have five days of programming starting every morning at 8.30, ending at 3. 35 speakers, 45 sessions, and approximately uh, 70 students. Uh, so welcome to you all. Um, we have a team here that's uh, supporting this effort. And I'm shortly going to introduce you to the uh, program director, uh, Bettina Hoare. Uh, but we also have some staff helping out, and I'd like to acknowledge and thank them. Um, Jen McKinnett, uh, Jay Lico, and Adam Jones. And we have sent you some contact information. You are having trouble uh, with your um, connection today through Feedloop. Please reach out to us through that contact information. I can tell you that if you refresh your browser, that should solve uh many of your challenges um before we get started i'd like to do a land acknowledgement um we would like to acknowledge uh tecoronto which is a mohawk word meaning the place in water where the trees are standing we live and work on the traditional ter territory of the Haudenosaunee speaking nations including the huron wendat seneca and mohawk how Haudenosaunee-speaking nations have been here since time immemorial and we recently and more recently joined the Mississaugas of the Credit. This place has many indigenous ports, including where the Humber and Rouge rivers meet, other waterways such as Lake Ontario, ancient longhouses. Typical housing structures have been found along both of these rivers and in the north of Toronto, as well as uh, near modern day York. This territory is covered by the Dish With One Spoon Wampum Belt Coven uh, Covenant, an agreement between the Haudenosaunee Six Nations Confederacy, the Anishinaabe, Ojibwa, and allied nations to peaceably share and care for the lands and relationships around the Great Lakes. What this means is by living and working here, we have a joint responsibility to the environment and to each other, to treat each other and the environment with peace and respect. This means we have responsibilities to honor, renew, and consistently uphold the values and relationships outlined in these ancient agreements. We embrace those. Today, Toronto is home to the Indigenous peoples and settlers from around the world. Let us all come together in an atmosphere of respect and peace to do good work together with good minds. Let's start building stronger and healthier relationships with each other and the spaces which we inhabit. Toronto, Ontario, Kanata. Let's hold our minds together in kindness. Niawa, which means thank you. I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Bettina Hoare now who will give you more details on what's upcoming, um, what you can expect, and uh, some further technical details on Caitlin. Bettina, thanks everyone. Good morning, everybody. It's so nice that you are here. I'm just going to enable. So if any of you are having any technical difficulties, as we said, there are a couple of different places that you can get help. One is by going to bootcamp at sbcanada.org, or you can call us on 416 817 5149. We'll be here to help you guys get on board. Uh, it's always a little fun at the beginning of a conference, no matter if it's virtual or if it's physical, some little things to get used to. So as uh, Mike mentioned, this is a really big boot camp this year. Uh, we're five days, 35 speakers, 45 sessions, nearly 70 of you students. So we can't thank you enough for signing up. We really hope to make this worth your time. We understand that school is starting soon, that you're nervous and excited about that, but we really appreciate you taking the time to spend the week with us. Um, as you can tell, we're hosting this event on Feedloop. So 
hopefully by now, all of you have been able to log in on Feedloop. Um, the biggest tech tip, as Mike said, is to refresh your browser. If things seem to be going strange, just hit that circle thing on your browser and continue. If you're having issues with your browser, you might try a different browser or clearing the cookies on your existing browser. Those are the best things to try. You can always try turning off your computer and turning it back on the ultimate advice. Okay, so what I'm gonna to talk to you now is just a little bit about how the week is gonna go. Some of you may have already looked at the calendar or for some of you, you might've just popped in this morning. So Monday through Wednesday, you're gonna have a ton of sessions. These sessions are getting you ready to observe a professional workshop that's happening on Thursday. Sorry about that. Good morning. I'm just going to turn off notifications. Okay, so Monday through Wednesday, we have a variety of sessions. So the whole idea, the way this camp started, I just wanted to let you guys know. Sustainable Buildings Canada runs a thing called Savings by Design. These are professional workshops. Hundreds of them happen a year. Uh, hundreds of them have happened over the last eight years. And what we do is we take one project building, we have the project building uh, team, and then we have our own team of what we call subject matter experts. I'm just gonna move away so that I can show you guys. So the subject matter experts, what they, we sit together with the, pro, uh, with the building management team and we go through the building for a whole day. And in that day, we always manage to get the building to perform a little bit better. We have a hypothetical of advice on how that building can be just that little bit better. And often throughout the years, I've invited students and other professionals to come and observe these uh, workshops. And what we discovered is that it's a lot to take in in one day, especially if you're new to the project, if you're only expert in one specific field, if you only have uh, a concept about a particular field or area. And the students often told me, oh, I wish I'd known more about what to expect and what to do and about some of the topic areas that I just don't touch in my field of study. So that's how the idea of boot camp came about. So the idea of boot camp is Monday through Wednesday, we're preparing you to observe the workshop on the Thursday. It's gonna be a whole bunch of sessions. Uh, have a look at the calendar so that you get an idea of what it is. Every day from two to three o'clock, there is a special session. And those are called spotlights. And in those spotlight sessions, you're gonna have to choose which one you go to. The rest of the time, it's just one session at a time, but on two o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there are different sessions and you are gonna have to choose. Now, later today, you're gonna be put into teams. And when you are, maybe amongst your team, you'll be able to decide, hey, you go to that one, you go to that one, you go to that one, and we'll circle back so that we can, um, we can catch up and figure out what happened in those other sessions. Three of those sessions, mechanical, opaque assemblies, and windows, fenestration, they repeat every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So those can be seen at any time. Now on Thursday, you're gonna be with the folks from the St. Lawrence Center for the Arts and our team of professional, and you're gonna watch us roll up our sleeves and really do an integrated design workshop, real life, actual integrated design workshop. And you'll be there with us and we'll have you on chat. If you guys have questions, we are absolutely gonna have a team of people there ready to answer and ready to talk to you guys. So it's gonna be very exciting. Now, Friday, you have two more learning sessions in the morning, and then we're gonna turn it over to you. So you're gonna, later today, as I said, we're gonna split you into teams. Each team is gonna present their recommendation to the TO Live team on Friday. They will be listening, they're eager to hear what your team's recommendations are. And then at the very end, we're turning the tables over to you. We need a couple of brave volunteers to do a thing called shift and share. There'll be more about that later, but really it's you students are as expert as we are in your own field. And so we want to give you space and time for students that are interested in doing so to share during the shift and share sessions. Uh, there's more to come on this later, but I'd like to give the official announcement today that Enbridge Gas has agreed to give us scholarships to three, up to three students who volunteer for the shift and share 
there'll be a thousand dollar awards for students to write a white paper on the topic that you present on Friday. So we're really hoping that this motivates a number of you. I know it's all kind of fuzzy right now, but it's, we don't, it's not, don't make it bigger than it is. It's 10 minutes of you explaining how your area of expertise or your area of interest or your area of experience might relate to making buildings better. It's as simple as that. And you will speak to all of the students. The students will shift through and watch all of the volunteer speakers. And at the end, between the students and our team, we'll decide the three award winners. So it's a really busy week ahead and we're really happy you're here. The program is free. The only thing we ask is that you come and that you participate, make it worth your while with all the effort that we've put in for you. We really want you to make the most of it. Now, every session has a gamification code and you're gonna get points. So I need to just move back over here. So you get points in two ways. One is by simply clicking onto your sessions. If you click onto sessions, many, not all, but many of them will just automatically give you a uh, gamification point. Then there are codes that speakers in a variety of ways, shapes and forms, maybe in their PowerPoint, maybe in a little piece of paper, maybe in some other creative or interesting, but these codes are what you put into the gamification. And then if you put that in, you'll see that you get a couple of points. Then what you, can you do with those points? You get to cash them in for prizes. So if you click on the left-hand side in the gray gamification bit, you'll see that there are a whole pile of interesting prizes from tiny to huge. So we hope that you enjoy that and that that motivates you to come and participate. So keep your eyes out for the codes. And I think that's it. We have a couple of minutes left. Grab your coffee run to the bathroom if you need it, stretch throughout the day sitting in front of the computer is the absolute worst thing you could possibly do. So stretch, breathe, look outside, look in the distance, make yourselves completely comfortable. We're so glad you're here. If anyone